Hello once again guys, I'm back with a different subject. So for today we want to do power machines in five and today I'm going to touch on chapter seven which is the throttling of steam. So throttling was simply it simply talks about the flow condition of what of steam. Remember you can have the initial, you can also have the, the final. So it talks about the uh, the flow condition of what of steam. So the most important thing that you must firstly know when you are talking about the throttling of steam is that the enthalpy before throttling is equal to the enthalpy after after throttling. If you are doing your chapter six, which is the volumes, you know we have different type of enthalpy. We have the uh, <coughs> enthalpy of a superheated. We have the enthalpy of a wet. We also have the enthalpy of what of a dry. So the most important thing that you must firstly know is what they're saying. The enthalpy before throttling is equal to the enthalpy. <coughs> after throttling which is h1 is goes to h2 and then you end up it depends sometimes they can it can be a super heat sometimes it can be wet or sometimes it can be a dry and we also have the formula to calculate what we call the dryness fraction of what of a steam which is x and then for you to get the dryness fraction of a steam it's mass of a steam divided by the mass of the steam plus mass of what mass of a water we also have the formula to calculate what we call the dryness fraction in a separate in a separate meter which is x2 in the same to calculate your x is gonna be the same formula with it with the first one which is the mass of the steam divided by the mass of the steam plus the mass of what of a water and then also we also have the formula to calculate the dryness fraction in a throttling meter so please this one is for a separating meter you also have the formula to calculate the dryness fraction in a throttling meter and then your formula to calculate the dryness fraction in a throttling meter it is <coughs> it says h1 is close to h hx which means on the on the second one you can have the end up of a weight and then on h1 it depends it can be a superheated or it can be a dry so you are going to just use this equation says h1 is equal to h hx so the other side is going to be the weight and then the other side it can either be a superheated or what or a dry so you have to calculate your x using this this formula and then if they say that one the dryness fraction of a main steam it's going to be x2 multiplied by x3 and i say that how do you get your x2 first your x2 you're going to get it which is the dryness fraction in a separate meter which is x2 is equal to the mass of the steam divided by the mass of the steam plus mass of your water and then your x3 your x3 you're going to get using this formula where you're going to have the end uh, the initial enthalpy and then the final enthalpy and then you have to find your value of what of x which is your x3 and then after you just multiply those two so this is simply <coughs> sometimes they can ask you like to to calculate your x2 separately x3 separately or sometimes your question can just say calculate the dryness fraction of what of the main steam whereby you know you have to get your x2 first and then you also have to get your your x3 again so without wasting much of your time let us uh, do an example from my from my textbook let us see which example can we do which example can we do okay i'm gonna do the example example seven point seven point three uh, seven point six and then the example seven point six uh, is this one is this one okay it reads as follows the thing a combined separating throttle, uh, throttling calorimeter was used to determine the dryness fraction of a steam flowing through a steam main at a pressure of 900 kilopascals the pressure and the temperature after throttling is the 101 one five degrees Celsius respectively. The mass of the steam contained after throttling is uh, one comma eight kgs, and the mass of a water collected in this uh, separate was zero comma one six kg. Estimate the dryness fraction of the steam in the main, and then take CP for the superheated steam as nine comma zero nine kgs. Uh, kilojoules per kg kelvins so this is our question they want us to calculate what the dryness fraction in the main in the main steam which is x1 okay so let me just start by writing the given information so they said a combined separating calorimeter was used to determine the dryness fraction of the steam through a steam main at a pressure of i'm given my p1 which is 900 kilo Pascals and then I think the pressure and the temperature. So now I'm also given the pressure which is P2 Okay, which is 100 Kilopascals and I'm also given a temperature and uh, With my student I told them whenever you're given a pressure and the temperature just know it's a superheated eh? The only end up which goes with the one with the pressure and the temperature it's a superheated So whenever you're given a pressure and the uh, temperature just know your temperature is given is T is T so I'm giving this one one five 
uh, degrees Celsius, respectively. They are saying the mass of a steam condensed after throttling is, I'm given the mass of a steam, ms, which is the mass of a steam, which is 1,8 kgs. And then they're saying the mass of the water in a separate was, I'm also given the mass of a water, which is 0, 0,16 kgs. And then, okay, they said they want me to calculate the, <coughs> the dryness fraction on the, on the steam main, and then they said take CP as 2,09 kilojoules per kg Kelvin. All right, okay, so this is my information that I'm given. This is my information which, I, which I'm given. And I said for you to get your, your dryness fraction on the main steam is gonna be X1 is equals to X2 multiplied by X x3 and then you check if we don't have x2 we also don't have x3 but i can calculate my x2 using the mass of a steam divided by the mass of a steam plus the mass of what of a water my mass of a steam is 1,8 divided by 1,8 plus 0,116 and then i punch i get my x2 which is 1,8 divided by 1,8 plus 0, 0,16. Okay, here I'll get 0, 0,91918. So now I have my X2. I have my X2, and I said your X2, you just use this formula. Remember, I showed you from this side. And then now I have to calculate my X3, and then I said on X3, you have to use the entropy before it's supposed to end up after, which is H1 is supposed to H to H2. And then I can see on my H1, I'm only given the pressure. So I know this one is what it's end up of what of a weight. So I use the formula to calculate the end up of a weight, which is HF plus X HFG is equals to. And then we also have the entropy <coughs> of a superheated on the other side. Since I said you're given P2, you're also given the temperature. So on your H2 is the end up of a superheated and then the formula says Hg plus Cp of in brackets T sub minus Ts. So this is the formula to calculate the end up of a weight, and this is the formula to calculate what we call the end up of what of a superheated when you're doing your chapter six or chapter five. That's where you learn these these things. So all right, okay. And remember, I have to look for my x, and then that's my x, my x three. All right, okay. So let us see. I can just make my x the sum of the formula. Okay, what am I going to do here? I can transpose this one to this other side. This is X. HFG is equal to HG plus CP. Open bracket T soup minus TS. Okay, and then minus minus HF. Okay, and then I divide by HFG. I divide by HFG. This one cancel this one and then to get my X3. It's gonna be HG plus CP. T soup minus T S minus H F divided by H F H F G. All right, okay. So let me get my values. I can start with my H F and also H F G. So your H F and H F G, you're going to get it on the steam table. And the steam table is given in the exam. This is a steam table. You're going to be given in the exam. That's where you get your values. Okay, so your values you are going to get them at the given at the given pressure. For example, if I want my HF, I know my HF is the end that is it goes with the end of what of uh, of a weight. So I'm going to get my HF at the given pressure of what of a weight, which is 900. I can also get my HFG at 900 kilo pascals. Okay, so when I go to the superheated, I can get my H G at my pressure of the superheated, which is 100. Okay, and then I also get my TS at 100 kilo pascals. And I say, so you just check with your entropy. <coughs> if it is the end up of a weight, you use the pressure of the, weight, of the weight. And then if it is the end up of a superheated, you're going to use the uh, your pressure of, of the superheated to get, to get these values. So let us quickly get those values. Let us quickly get those values. Okay, let me start with 900. Okay, let me 
check my case trade so I get a, my H my HF that's my first one is seven four three kilo joules per kg seven four three kilo joules per kg and then my HFG my HF HFG is two zero two zero three zero kilo joules per kg okay I also get my HG H100 kilo kilo pastas using the steam table using my steam table at 100 I need my HG which is 2676 yeah 2676 kilo joules per kg and then I also check my temperature at 100 99,6 degrees Celsius. So remember, you're just going to use the pressure. If you check from the steam table, I don't know if you can see clearly, you check the pressure, the temperature, the volume, and everything. So you just go at the given pressure and then you check the value that, that you want. So now I have all my values, which means I can just substitute and get my X, my X3, my HG first. I started my HG, which is. 2676 plus CP which is 2,0 uh, given 09 and K open brackets 115 minus 99,6 close bracket minus 7443 divided by 2030 and then I just punch and get my answer. Two six seven six plus two zero two comma zero nine one one five minus nine nine comma six close brackets minus seven four three divided by two zero three zero. I get my answer is zero comma nine six eight and then to get my final answer now I have my x two I also have my x three. So it's just gonna be 0 0.918 multiplied by 0 0.968. And then I get my dryness fraction of the of the main steam 0 0.918 multiplied by 0 0.968. And then I get my dryness fraction is 0 0.889. And this is my final answer. So basically that's it. So some, I said some, some of the questions they can ask you to upgrade your X2 and X3 uh, separately and then you get your, your X1 but on this one they just wanted the, the dryness fraction of the, of the main steam whereby I know I have to calculate my X2 I also have to calculate my X my X3 after that and then I just multiply the two and then I get my get my answer so basically this is the about the throttling of what of steam so you just have to know these formulas your formula to calculate the drainage fraction of the steam or and also the separate meter and then of the throttling meter and also of the main of the main steam if you just know those formulas you won't go wrong so what makes you to understand this you just have to practice more if you practice more of this question you can have a better a better understanding okay thank you for watching i will see you next time